welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome my friends to another weekend on the channel where we are changing things up. So basically we're going to do something completely different in this video guys, we're actually going to test my personal skill level. Now you can join me guys, you can actually join me doing this yourselves at home, but what we're pretty much going to do in a couple of moments time, we're going to test my skill level by randomly selecting four troops from the 19 that are available inside of the game. Now the reason why we're doing this, because in one day and 15 hours time, a new season is going to start. And for the first time ever, I'm actually going to try and reach 6,000 trophies. So throughout the entirety of December, we're going to be trophy pushing on this channel, going for a massive record, guys. 6,000 plus trophies. I don't know if we can actually reach it. If we can, if you think I can, go ahead and drop a like on this episode. Let's see how many of you think I can reach 6,000 trophies. But basically, what we're going to do now to test my skill level, there are a total of 19 troops inside of the game. And we're going to get Siri to randomly pick four of these troops, fill out the 240 spaces equally. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start by attacking Sherbet Towers, Pekka's Playhouse, all the rest of the single player maps. And we want to see how many single player maps we can destroy using a random generated army by Siri. So this is definitely going to be interesting, guys. I'm not really sure what's actually going to happen. So uh, let's just get ourselves straight into it. Now, don't forget, we are doing a $100 giveaway. All you need to do to enter is simply click the link in the description and click enter. There is no other way around it. Let me know down below if you want Android or iTunes, guys. So let's do this. Let's do this. So going to go over to Siri. Here we go. Actually, just before we do, this is how it's going to work. So there are a total of... Let's just ask, let's, let's ask Siri to pick a number between 1 and 19. Let's do this. Here we go. So we're going to activate young Siri. Hey Siri, can you hear me? Oh, here we go. Okay, so Siri, pick a number between 1 and 19. Okay, so there we go, guys. First number has been chosen, so we're going to go in. Now, we have to fill every single one of these troops with uh, 60 spaces. So we're going to start by... Let's let's go along the top line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Goblins! Okay, so fair enough. We have to pick 60 goblins. So there we go. Siri started off uh, pretty damn bad, but there we go. We got the 60 goblins. Now let's go back into Siri and choose another troop. Siri, pick a number between 1 and 19. Okay, there we go, guys. We've got number five. So we cannot get the same number again, of course. Or can we? Actually, you know what? We can. Who cares? Here we go. we got dragons. Three dragons. This is going to be legit the most random army we have ever used, guys. So going straight back into Siri. Siri, pick a number between one and 19. Three. There we go, guys. Number three. Wall breakers. Wow. This is the most insane Hardest challenge we have ever done. I want you guys to actually do this with me. You guys have got to do it with me. So we need to fill up 30 wall breakers. I mean, look at that. That is the most random army we could ever pick. Goblins, wall breakers, dragons. Now we've got to go for one final troop, guys. What is it going to be? Come on, Siri. Siri, pick a number between 1 and 19. Number six, so he's actually kept the numbers pretty damn low. So one, two, three, four, four, baby dragons. Okay, so this really is the most random army. Now, remember, guys, we are also bringing the heroes. We are allowed to use the heroes one time each. We have two heal spells, three rage spells, and a random poison. Don't know why there's a poison there. Maybe we'll... Let's delete the poison and let's bring ourselves a skeleton spell as well instead. So there we go. That is the entire army. Here we go. So we are ready to rumble, guys. We have... 60 goblins, 30 wall breakers, 3 dragons, 6 baby dragons, 2 heal spells, 3 rage spells, 1 skeleton, king, queen, and grand warden. And we're about to get ourselves into the challenge. Do not forget, if this is the first time you are seeing the channel, guys, please make sure to drop a sub as we get ourselves into the single player challenge, attacking Sherbet Towers. So we're going to start this off by actually sending in some of these wall breakers. Now, we have 30 of them. Well, we got 26 now, but... As I said, we're only allowed to use each hero once, but considering this is the actual hardest single player map, I think we're going to use the two heroes, or at least two of them, the Queen and the Grand Warden, inside of this one single battle. So, let's get this done. There goes the Queen, guys. She's going to take out the air defenses really early. Going to drop the Grand Warden behind as well. And then we're just going to, you know, see if we can distract or trigger any big bombs. Yeah! So the Goblins are going to be, uh, you know, the troops to trigger the big bombs. 
We're not going to drop any other spells down just yet. Now we're going to drop some dragons into the center. There goes the queen's ability. Going to drop a heal spell to make sure that these troops really don't get too much of a battering. Going to drop a baby dragon over on the left. And we're going to drop a baby dragon. A couple of baby dragons, you know, down on the sides there. Let's see if we can take Sherbet at Towers out using very few troops. So we're going to drop in some more wall breakers now, guys. Just to make sure we can open the base. Going to pop the, uh, the Grand Warden's ability just in time to make sure that that actual big bomb didn't do too much damage to my queen. Second rage spell is going to go down. We need the queen to really tear up this base. And it looks like we've actually done a good job. So this is really like the uh, the hardest challenge. I think I actually dropped down too many troops. We ended up three-starring the base. And we still had, look, quite a few baby dragons left on the map. So that was pretty damn easy. Not bad at all. So we're allowed to go into the second map now. Remember, we have already used the queen and the grand warden. We have a heal spell, a rage spell, a skeleton. 55 goblins, 18 wall breakers, a big dragon, and three baby dragons remaining. I'm not sure if we can actually, you know, take out the uh, the second map with this army, guys, but we're going to give it a good go into the Pekka's Playhouse. So the Pekka's Playhouse looks actually kind of dodgy, but I do like the fact we do have three lovely little baby dragons remaining. Now, we're going to start this off. I want to see if we can take out these buildings around the outside i want to try and funnel the barbarian king into the center you know what we're going to do guys we're going to drop down some wall breakers really early yeah that didn't really do too much okay so we're allowed to use the barbarian king there we go barbarian king's been dropped down we're going to drop in the rest of the wall breakers we, may, we, we just may as well baby dragon gonna go down on the left and the right and then big dragon down into the center now we still have the king's ability of course we're going to drop down the skeleton spell on to the actual, uh, we're going to drop a hill spell there as well. I don't know if the hill spell is going to keep them alive, but here we go. Now we're going to drop some of these goblins into the center. Rage spell is going to go down now as well. Let's see if we can take out this base. So if we swing up the top there, you can see the baby dragons taking out quite a lot of the buildings. The big dragon is also still alive. And we've also still got the king's ability. So there is a great chance here we can actually beat this base. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Going to drop down some more, uh, some more goblins up the top there. They're about to get taken out. By the other mortar, there goes the king's ability, guys. We've wiped out the majority of the defenses. It's just a wizard tower, a mortar, and a Tesla left. So not bad. We've actually done a decent job. So we've done a lot better than I thought that was actually going to happen. So that's pretty damn surprising, guys. Leave a like on the episode if you do enjoy these types of videos and would love to see something similar to this once again. Now, if you actually missed yesterday's videos, guys, we uploaded two videos on the channel. And trust me when I say they were very, very different to one another. So please, if you have missed yesterday's episode, feel free to go and check it out. This is going to be extremely close. Can the Wizard Tower take out the Dragon? But no, the Barbarian King is there to back him up. And there goes the Pegasus Playhouse. So we are officially allowed to make our way onto the next map. And that is, of course, using 10 Goblins and 10 Goblins only. Check it out. That is all that we have remaining of our army. This is, quite honestly, one of the hardest challenges we have ever done, guys. But we've made it all the way to the Mega Mansion. And now we're allowed to take it on using 10 Goblins. So uh, how much percent do you think we're going to get? Take a guess, guys. Take a guess. How much percent will we get inside of this map? Should we use the Grand... Let's cheat. Let's use the Grand Warden's ability. So we got the Grand Warden. We're going to drop him out right there. And then we got the uh, the little goblins. We're going to pop the goblins ability and sorry, the Grand Warden's ability really early. Check that out. We popped the Grand Warden's ability and the goblins still got affected. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We already lost every single one of them. And now the Grand Warden's dying as well. Wow. We got obliterated inside of the Mega Mansion. That was definitely not expected, guys. We lost every single one of those goblins so quickly. And, of course, the Grand Warden goes down right at the end there. So that is definitely the end of the challenge. And uh, I would say it was one of the hardest challenges. But we definitely done a lot better than I actually thought. Now, I would love to do another one of these, guys. Because I'm not going to lie, it was extremely fun. If you do want to see, like, more episodes just like this, please do let me know. I really like to, you know, variety, bring a variety of videos onto the channel, guys. We like to do something different because keeping the content the same is going to be boring for me. And, of course, it's going to be boring for you. Now, as I said, a few quick announcements. We are doing a $100 giveaway. All you need to do, click the link down below and click enter. I will let you know who the winners are on Thursday, this coming Thursday. One iTunes card and one Android card. Just let me know down below which card you would love. Second announcement, as I said, we are about to start the biggest trophy push we have ever done. So we've been hanging around the Legends League guys for a couple of weeks now because we were waiting for the new season to start. Well, the new season starts in one day and 15 hours time and then it's official. We will be pushing to 6,000 trophies. Now, if we actually go 
to the top players in the world right now, during the end of the season, there are a very few amount of players who have actually reached six plus thousand trophies. But if I do want to get myself into the top 100 players in the world, which is what I would love to do, we are gonna, we're definitely gonna need to, uh, you know, get somewhere close to that 6,000 trophy range. So we're gonna try our best to do it and see what happens. Now, of course, as I promised before the actual new season does start, we will be gemming our Barbarian King and our Grand Warden both to max level. So you can look forward to that. That could be coming either later on today or tomorrow for a very special gem video. And then, of course, we have the 1 million subscriber Q&A, the two special videos which are most likely going to be announced either later on today as well or tomorrow for the Q&A, guys. I think we're going to do the Q&A tomorrow. I may ask you guys for some more questions in the second episode, but I've already got about 10,000 questions. So uh, we're going to kind of, you know, flick through some of them and see how that's going to go. But it will be a 30, maybe even a 40 minute video. So stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you very, very shortly. Have a great weekend. Peace out.